All right, YouTube, quick update on the tank. As you can see, most of my coils look like crap. That's because I did a lot of water changes over the past month and I wasn't checking my salinity. I had this cup and I thought it was measuring it out at 1.023 to 24, but boy, it was I off. It turned out to be 1.019 in the tank. Then my heater died, so there was fluctuations in temperature. So I bought one of the ice cap salinity testers, which I think everybody should have, and I've been slowly working it back up. Today was the first day it got up to 1.023. So it was at 1.019 for at least, I'm going to say two weeks. So a lot of shit just wasn't doing good and it just looked real bad. But it seems to be bouncing back slowly, but yeah, it seems to kind of be bouncing back. Alright, so yeah, hopefully my frog spine will come back. I don't want that to die. The hot in the floor can die, but not the frog spine. I need that shit to come back. So, hopefully that'll happen. Uh, I did have some new fish since the last video. As you can see, I got another blue flash of ras. All these fish came from Live Aquaria. I got the tricolor ras. Uh, I got a yellow fin flash of ras also. He just got his ass kicked by the blue flash of ras for messing with him, so... Uh, I got a Lynx Goby. That's a Biota captive bred. I've never seen them before except for Biota. I've never even seen them listed or heard of them before. But if you got a small tank and you want a cool little fish that also sands hills a little bit, that is the fish. It's just black and white, but in person, I really like these fish. From the picture, I wasn't sure. But I wish I'd have got about two or three, um, you know, uh instead of the one, and that goes with my Cave Transparent Goby, and he's cool too, I should have got one of them a long time ago, pretty transparent, but he got like a little blue on his door, so down there, cool little fish, if you like a Scooter Blenny like fish hopping around and shit, you want one of those, and they eat everything, like with the quickness, real fast fish, so yeah, but other than that, not much has changed, I wanted to get some corals, but then this shit happened with the salinity, so, uh, yeah, if you got a tank and you uh, just starting out, please get one of those ice cap salinity testers. It's, they're pretty damn accurate and quick. And, uh, yeah, they, they're pretty much on point, man. I mean, I can't say nothing bad about them. But don't forget to test your salinity from time to time. Like I said, I thought my system was foolproof. I guess I measured a little wrong. But, yeah, so... Other than that, everything's the same, just rebounding. And, uh, yeah, that's what's going on with the tank right now, so hopefully it'll bounce back. But yeah, these little fish are cool, man, I'm telling you. Lynx goby. Just go to Live Aquarium and type in biota. It'll show all of their captive bred fish. And, yeah, I should get about two or, two or three of those. So if you need a small one for a nano or some shit, that would be a perfect candidate for a nano tank. Cool little fish, man. But yeah, yeah, uh, that's going to pretty much be it for the update. And I'm going to show you the ice cap test that I got so you can uh, see what I'm talking about. Hold on. So this is the ice cap salinity tester right here. <sighs> pretty cool little device. But if you need something to check your salinity, like if you get now getting in a hobby, I mean, you have to get one of these. I wish they'd bring these out to check alkalinity, calcium, and magnesium shit that make life a whole lot easier it's dead on accurate man i'm gonna show you how it works hold on so here it is all you do is you cut it on it'll start flashing i don't know if you can see that on ready yeah then you just dip it in the water all right And that is 1.023. These things are so damn good, man. Then you just cycle through it, you get to the temperature right there, 80 degrees. About sounds sounds about right. So yeah, definitely if you get in the hobby, get one of these. It'll save you a lot of time and frustration. So, all right, that's the update. Holla, y'all.